gods of the Bible, gods, wait a minute. All the Abrahamic religions say it's one God. That's what they say. That's not what they did. That's what they say. That's not what the whole world did. The whole world had many gods. The ancient world had many gods. And you can tell that there are many gods because there were always battles going in back and forth between the gods, especially Baal. The Yahwists, the ones who were, you know, crazy over Yahweh, they didn't like the Baal people. They wanted to get rid of them. So there was always, they're always going back and forth, back and forth. Never in the Bible did it tell you that there was only one God for all time and that everyone worshiped this one God. So let's just establish that there are gods in the Bible. So let's go to the evidence. The first book that I will bring forward is one that I have absolutely loved reading. And if you can see it, it will be linked below in the pinned comment as well as in the description. Mauro Bellino is one of my favorite. He worked for a press in Italy. He's a, an, an incredible Italian scholar. He worked for a press in Italy, San Paolo Press, that was responsible for translating the Hebrew Bible for the Vatican. They provided interlinear Bibles to the Vatican. You can imagine that after he went deeper and deeper and deeper into the original Hebrew, he began to discern that this wasn't talking about God at all, as almost everyone who goes deep and deeper and deeper into the Bible, its etymology, its geography, its history, its archaeology, on and on and on, you begin to understand this isn't talking about God. Let's go to the word Elohim. Elohim is a very problematic word. I won't say problematic. It's enigmatic. That's a better word for it than problematic. It's enigmatic. Why? Because sometimes Elohim is translated to convey to us the one God, all powerful. Yet when you read the Bible and you see all of the places that Elohim is used, sometimes it's used as the Elohim of the Egyptians. When Moses was talking to Pharaoh, in the story, I don't take these as actual literal fact, Moses is talking about the Elohim of the Israelites. What? I thought Elohim was the one big God. No, it's not. In the beginning, gods, the Elohim created the heavens and earth. It starts out right in Genesis 1.1. It says that in the beginning, Elohim created the heavens and the earth. It didn't say God. Our Bibles say God. That means between translators, theologians, church fathers, religious zealots, we got a Bible that does not say what they wrote. I'm going to say that again because it's a hard pill to swallow, especially because we love the Bible and we've been reading the Bible all our lives. We love the Bible. Between interpreters, translators, theologians, church fathers. I'm going to add in monarchs. Thank you, King James. And those who have an agenda have their hands in the Bible all along to craft a narrative for the masses to control. There is no one God of the Bible. There's many. Let's go to the evidence. Elohim sometimes means gods, sometimes means God, sometimes means judges, sometimes means legislature, legislators, sort of like Congress and Senate, sometimes means rulers, sometimes means powerful ones. Elohim is a very elastic word in the original Hebrew. We must understand nuance and come to the conclusion that, oh, well, this word couldn't be talking about the all-powerful one source because the all-powerful one source, first of all, is nameless, does not have a name, couldn't have a name. There is no name that can encompass the all one true source, the all. So 
this is a group. And Psalm 82 says that there is one Elohim, El Elyon, meaning the El that is above the others. It doesn't mean most high, which is what we've been told in our Bible. It means the El who is above, who is higher, the one who is up high than the others. That they rule, he rules in a council. The council is in the sky, it's sky God. There's nothing spiritual about this. This is the Anunnaki or the Anuna gods, also known as the Elohim. The Bible calls them the Elohim. This group of beings who oversaw certain territories. And the El of the Israelites was Yahweh. 